Hello everyone and welcome to RNG University. On tonight's episode, uh, exploring the mirror. On tonight's episode of Friday Night Explorer, that is. So I want to try out the mirror with Jace the Reawakened in the Explorer. And what I want to kind of combo with is just Jace. Just Jace with Valky. So the idea is we're never really playing Valky. We're playing Jace to hardcast, or not to hardcast, but to cheat out Valky. And the problem with that is this is a turn four play. So Valky really comes out in turn five. I tried it in the band deck and that was very hard to get working. So now I'm trying it in the mirror with this being the only part of the combo. Uh, only part of the Jace combo. But hidden underneath the deck also is the Narset plus wheel. Uh, commit to memory. So the idea is that we use commit to counter a spell and then we use memory to uh, make our opponent shuffle and draw seven But because Narset's out, they draw one card. So that's how this deck plays out uh, The rest of the deck kind of helps uh, as a shell for this deck to kick off. We have three f uh, Let me put the mana cost correctly because arena definitely does not adjust the correct mana cost So these are our removal. This is our four drop and these are our one two three four uh, five and then uh, Valky for cheating out So we have in the early game one cling to dust to exile our opponent's graveyard in case they're you know Some sort of a uh, grease fang deck. We also have four fatal push and four thoughtsies a lot of early game interaction Because this is what mono black can do right interactions. So then we go to the demir colors and two drop we have uh, two um, make this appear basically phantom interference uh, two mana or it's a spree card So it's for two mana we get to counter target spell unless they pay two But for five mana we get to also make a 2-2 spirit, which is that's nothing I don't even know why a lot of people like this So I wanted to try it But I think for for this I might as well run like make this appear or negate or something that might just be just as good But I tried three copy of just to see whether or not it, it shows but it doesn't uh, all the games I played today this might as well be a make this appear and I have four deduce, of course, for card draw, this is necessary. We have one negate and one test of talent. I really love test of talent to catch our opponent off guard. If they try to thought seize us, we can take all of their thought seize out of their deck. And then, of course, two Shodrit's Edict. Uh, Shodrit's Edict is kind of a tricky card, right? I, I think it's a good card, but you don't have selection. Uh, you can also have Bitter Triumph uh, if you want to have selection about creature or planeswalker, but you're going to have to take three. And sometimes we don't have that much life. Right. And a three drop, I got, I got one midnight clock. It does work very well with Jace's plot ability, but midnight clock also help us, you know, for mana rock and for eventually getting to the uh, draw seven ability after twelve upkeeps. We're probably never paying into adding a counter. It's just oh, we're gonna wait 12, 12 upkeeps, so six turns. We also have two Narset. Narset is good for the wheel, but that's it and it's not edh so you don't want to uh rely on narset that much that's why there's only two of her in a deck and then the uh four drop not really four drop we got four jace two two uh, two mana two mana two blue pip jace but it is a four drop because you can you can only play them on turn four or later jace is good though jace is pretty good against uh in this deck i should say there's some sorcery cards we want to play like thoughtseize like uh, Valky and like Narset and Midnight Clock, you can definitely hide it under the plot ability. And the fun thing about hiding the Thoughtseize under the plot ability is that your opponent sees a Thoughtseize and they just constantly, uh, you know, go through their hand. They can, they keep thinking that I gotta play everything I can and they play it uh, suboptimally. So that is something you can do to your opponent. Then we have Commit to Memory, which of course is the, the part of the combo, right? Without Narset, this card's trash. So uh, only include this if you want to have the Narset combo. If you don't have the Narset combo in here, just add in more Counterspell in the early game or one more Valky. And then in the five drop, we're gonna have uh, two Deadly Cover Up for uh, a blower, a, a blower wipe, a bore wipe plus a uh, extra bay effect, right? And then we have the uh, the the uh, Mihoik Massacre. This is also a board wipe, sort of, but also gains us life. This is the only card in the deck that really gains us life, so we gotta be careful with how we play it. Of course, there is life in Cling to Dust, but this is a lot harder to get off because uh, you have to exile a creature card to gain that three life, and normally you don't wanna exile a creature card because you wanna exile a non-creature in order to draw a card. And then of course the Valky, which is the actual Tibalt Cosmic Imposter. That's the side you want to cheat out with the plot ability. And with Tibalt, we now get to exile cards from our opponent's deck and play their deck instead. So usually our opponent's deck is better than our deck, so let's play theirs. <laughs> that That is the whole... Um, non-land part of the deck then in the land part it's a little bit tricky i have 25 lands but the way i play my 25 land is also really weird because i'm gonna have four watery grave because i have that uh was that shock land i don't have the other uh i think it's called drowned catacomb i don't have that land 
Uh, let's see. We'll go to craft. Uh, I think it's drawn catacomb. I would like to have four of these in, as well, but I don't. That's why I have to make it a little bit trickier with the mana base. So instead, I have four uh, shipwreck marsh, four clear water pathway, and two restless reef as our blue black land. What I like to have instead of the four clear water pathway is four of the drowned catacomb, and then instead of ship shipwreck marsh, I would have two more islands. Uh, one more island, one more swamp, and then two more restless reef. That way, I have more uh, man lands to use for ability, and then also the all of my lands pretty much will come into play untapped, except for just the restless reef. That would be okay. Here, the shipwreck marsh, they're gonna come into play tap early game, so that's gonna slow us down in the early game. That's why it's a little bit tricky to have shipwreck marsh, but that's only because I don't have the drowned catacombs. And then of course, two islands, two swamps. Uh, since this is uh, an explorer, I get to have one hall, one Ottawara, one castle uh, Lockwing, and one hive of the Itiron, and one Takenuma, along with the uh, two field of ruin. I don't have the blue castle because I, wa I want to cut a card in order to fit in extra Narset. That is the whole deck list. Now going to the games. Okay, our opponent is the Yanni Has... That's a full name. I am not reading all of that. So our opponent goes to go first. Our opponent gets to go first. We got Phantom, Fatal Push, and Shieldred's Edict. I'm gonna keep. Not great, but I'm gonna keep. Well, opponent, are you in the game? Alright, let's just talk about this board. He's got pumpkins, it's a Avacyn symbol, pretty cool. Uh, no pets on either side, meaning that he's, uh, he's he's stuck on the mulligan. Our opponent. This is why I don't want to play explorer as often as I, you know, as I like to play standard because we always face these opponent who think they're trying really hard, but in fact they're just roping. Every turn just rope. Am I even playing this game? I wish I can reach across the the, uh, the screen and shake them a little. Mulligan down to six. Play green white veteran. Interesting. I played a lot. I need the fatal push. I could have played a swamp first, but I might. I mean, I guess I should have played a swamp first. There was no reason for a blue in any way whatsoever. This is scary. I think this is Amalia, too. No, no, it's just Angel. Giada? Alright. You can gain the life. I'm okay with that. We'll kill the Giada. The Shooter's Edict's not going to be very useful against this board here, so... I'll drop a blue. Can't really counter him anyways. Because he's got the cavern, right? So maybe I'll just deduce. Can counter. Didn't attack. That's interesting. Why didn't you attack? All right. Well, we'll drop a. If I drop a field of ruin here, can I even use it for anything? I don't know, I don't think so. Not dropping a field of ruin because it, it kind of gives away my game plan. Another Giada. Does he attack finally? He does attack. Still has place? No way for one mana. What can he play? It's just a land, yeah. I doubt he has any place. Jace. Valerian. Not the real Valerian, but. Hmm. I could cavern. Alright, could take out his cavern. He's gonna get four mana. Oh, he's gonna get five mana, actually, with the Giada. And that might be scary, but. I think I have to do it. Break the cavern before he gets his turn. We will take an island.
still have a timely reinforcement. Or no, there's a phantom interference. I wanted to call it a timely reinforcement. Cavern anyways, all right. It's a, it's a Thossie's bug. Is that Coco though? Didn't feel like a stick. That didn't feel like a stick. Lunar? Alright. Didn't have much, but I guess I have to do this. This boss sees him as well. Take the last card, whatever it is. It's just the land. All right. Why do I still take the two? I, I didn't take anything. That's not fair. Why do I still take two? You attack me or attack Jace? Got to think about it. Got to think about it for an hour. This is a once in a lifetime thought, right? You gotta gotta really think about it. attack a guy. A guy at four, or a guy at five, or you know, a Jace that doesn't do anything. There you go. You made the right choice. Nothing, huh? I can make him sack the Phantom, right? The Shielders Edict's really not gonna get anywhere. Well, punish for doing that. It's Tibble, fake Valky. What do you have on the top? A land. They're coming to play tap. And now we could draw in the scar. Probably draw in the scar. I don't need another Jace. Do I want to play this? I will be left with one, two, three mana. I don't be want, want to be left with three mana, so I'm just going to pass turn here. The commit can actually bounce this ar artifact, or angel, if you want to play an angel. Uh, okay, goes to my turn. And quit. I guess, I don't know. Rope every turn and quit, that's normal magic games. I'm so salty. I was not having fun with this. Alright, our opponent's going to be the warmest. He's the wormiest, the wormiest of all worms. We go first with double Dossies, can't cast it. Um, I'm gonna, whatever, fuck it. You know what, let's do it. Look at that castle, coming to play tap. Oh, you also have a thing that coming to play tap? What else do you play? The fairy's tulich, Tasha's. Destroy all creatures with mana value three or less. What is this deck? What is what is this deck? I am so confused by what this deck is doing. I don't really care about the Tasha's honestly. Wait, is it Exile? Let's take out a toolage. Yeah, I had no idea what was going on there. Maybe it's a lands deck? Sees you again. Oh, okay. What is this deck? I don't know. One minute game for me. Fun. Okay, our opponent's gonna be the. Is that the one or the L Shadow Cat? I'm gonna say one Shadow Cat. Alright, look at that combo in hand. Not gonna work though. Opponent goes first. It's gonna be a while. So, turn two, I can counter. Uh, that's their turn three. Then turn three, we got nothing. Let's do it. That is the keepiest hand I've ever seen. What is this? What is this sleeve from? Ravnica days? I don't know. They probably just bought it. It's a pretty old sleeve. I feel like. They even got a Cerberus. Howl Fountain. Oh, okay. Well, this is not going to be a fun game for me. 
I don't think. Blue light control, and they get to go first. We'll start with some deucing. I do have a phantom interference if they got nothing else. I feel like it's blue light control. Fatal push is a dead card. It's not a thought seize, which is what I like to have. So, do I shock this in? I don't need that mana for some reason, right? Alright. Let's keep it the way it is. They're about to get to four mana. Are they gonna play something with four mana? Or are they gonna miss a land drop? I don't think so. <sighs> Shadow Cat, come on, do something. I guess I don't know what I want my opponent to be because when they're aggro, I'm mad at their aggro. When they're control, I'm mad at their control. Can you just be like a crappy deck that I can beat? All right, doesn't do anything. I will draw a card. Another phantom, and then an island. That's pretty good, right? I'm gonna drop my island. All right, again, Jace. Let's see if they want to counter this Jace. No more lies. You got it. From host Sea Shark. You also got that. I actually can't do anything to it. Because the fatal push is two, right? Yeah. I don't think they can kill anything that I have. Good for them. Here we go. Did they forget that they were playing the game? Every opponent. Every opponent. <sighs> Here we go, genius. Play your game. Yeah, I just throw up. Why, why not? Why not? I mean, you're a disgrace to control deck if you're gonna rope on this kind of play. Like, he's not even looking at his cards. He looked at his lands for a second and then had a stroke. I feel like those are cool. Those are cool lands. Th this guy definitely spent the money. Right? Look at those hollow fountains. Yeah, he spent the money to, ba to be bad at the game. That's ironic. No more lies. I wish I was playing that. You really want to fight the mirror, though. All right, they're just gonna rope out, which is. Yeah. You can do that. You can do that. You can do the doo doo. Take up a whole turn. Shadow cab, more like shadow stroke. Alright, pass the attackers for my turn. I get a field of ruin. I can use that to get the shark. I don't think I want to though. Do I want to play the Field of Ruin anyways? I need two blue mana and then two more for a phantom. And then I'm not really doing much with this field, right? Let's drop the field. I'm gonna rope again, Jesus. All right, I, I guess we just wait. Another rope guy. It's always fun to fight rope guys. They're, they're the best thing Arena has to offer. The board can't even interact with. So yeah, one, one of these players. This is why people hate control players, I guess. They're, I mean, it's not just control players that does this. It's basically half the Arena players does this. Online games, there's really nothing you can do about it. They might DC, they might just be dumb. Like, they, they might not have an IQ enough to play the game. Oh, they rope out! They still have a rope, apparently. They're gonna actually play, or are we just gonna get an auto win? Who knows?
So do I want to, okay, so as our opponent is probably roping out, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to field a ruin, like their glacial fortress or something, uh, probably a hollow fountain. I'm thinking about whether or not I want to field a ruin the fountain, and then fatal push to fight the chrome post sea shark, right? That will take up a lot of his mana, and if he has nothing else to do with all those mana, then I can, uh, well, if he spent all his mana fighting this fatal push, then I can Valky, and then take the chrome post sea shark anyways. And then I will go to fan. The thing about the spree is that they're not actually cast, right? They're, they're not like an additional cost that's added to the blue mana pip. So the C shark will only give me one once. All right, just quit. That works too. Thanks, Arena. That was a fun experience. All right, our opponent's meek jab. The opponent goes first. Uh, this is not a good hand, and our opponent goes first. So of course I'm gonna keep. They got Kahiro. Kahiro's blue eye control, right? Yeah, Kahiro's blue eye. Drop a tap land. Drop in untap land. Now I can start deducing. Whether or not that helps, I have no idea. He's already losing because he goes first. Let's see their dot. What? What kind of cards, what kind of degenerate cards do you have in your hand? The fairy. Well, that's done. Degenerate. Well, his hand seems pretty bad. It seems like a lot of lands. I'm also flooded, but I'm happy he's flooded. That's a dead card. I mean, they have to ferry, so maybe I'll be able to get somewhere with this. So, what can he do? I'm not sure. I don't think the Field of Ruin does much against his board. So, let's Jace. Uh, will he counter a Jace? I don't know. It's not that good of a card, and I'm okay if, it, if Jace gets countered. I'm okay with this. I could do another Jace, right? He doesn't have much. If he Teferis, can I push through a Teferi? I make him sacrifice it, and I have to counter it. That's a lot. No, let's not waste. Let's not just go off all on this turn, right? Sensor, draw a card, all right. See, good thing I didn't Jace for no reason. Let's clean his the fairy. I draw a card. Fatal push. Go we'll JC Jace again. This one resolves. Draw in this card. Do you have a kill spell? Get lost on my Jace. I'm I'm happy for that. That's a remove. That's a premium removal on some trash card. All right. So uh, I don't need the fatal push. I think edict is way more important. But I also don't need a deadly cover up. Right? What am I covering up? No more lice. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. A lot of these cards are kind of pointless. Castle definitely is some something I want to keep in my hand because I get card draw. So, I'll take out a push. Do I want to Thought Seize him though? He's got March and one more card, right? Shark Typhoon. Good thing I got rid of that. Could not fight a Shark Typhoon there. 
You can definitely march my... Uh, what are these called again? The map tokens? But that's not... That is not what he wants to do. Alright, so... He's got one. Place this land. Great. He then put the Kahira into his hand and then plays it. Let's counter it. So I want to kill the Vantress actually. This is a good card for him and I can get rid of it right now. This way I can also get a Swamp. Swamp. And because I can get a Swamp, I can get a Castle for free. Well, untapped is what I meant to say. I still have Negate out so he can't do much with the... Uh, with his hand. Place his land. Draw a card here, right? It's gonna take a lot of damage. Take four to draw a card. Yikes. Okay. Then I can push out the clock. The clock is a real good card, but it'll just get marched. So, do I care about the clock being marched? Why is it ta ta taxing my castle? Hmm. So I want to play something this turn. Well, I can force him to play something. You know what? I'm going to play the Mi Hook for zero. I don't think there's a lot of removal I need on his side, and I can force out a march. He's not marching a Mi Hook. I get it. Let's take out the Kahira. No. Kahira doesn't draw me a car. Don't get it twisted. So I want to take out... Probably the castle. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Give me a car, please. I have escaped. Would you like to remove something? Alright, I get a hive and a hall. That's interesting. I'm gonna play the hall first. And yeah, that march is gonna get my clock out, so I need to hold on to my hand for a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm gonna lose five for this. Another deadly cover up. Do I want him to let let him march this? It's kind of scary, right? He's just drawing cards and not doing anything. Get another field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I tap, all right, let me play the field. If I tap this for seven, it costs him four. If I tap this, he could have a removal. So he could march it. And then just kind of lose the car. You know, I have a lot of planeswalker in this deck, but uh, I've only been drawing lands because he's also getting impatient. Sensor. I have three cards in the graveyard, so I can't even clean. Watery grave. More lands. That's definitely what I want to see, right? Just keep drawing lands. If I play the game winning, I can just draw lands. There's nothing I can do right now. I can turn these creatures live. Memory Deluge. Memory Deluge is pretty scary. He's gonna get two cards from this. I guess we'll have to stop the Memory Deluge. Alright, what can we do here? I guess I'll just draw a card. Take five damage.
doesn't matter. We're all land anyways. Uh, let's deduce. Does he have a counter spell? I mean, he's bound to have one, right? With this whole deck going on. Let it burn. Commit. I can do this. Can he counter it? It was a hard counter. He can, right? I still need to do it, I guess. Feels bad. Blown up the board for nothing. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm gonna lose my cling for this? Okay, I don't wanna do that. Destroy one of your hollow fountains. Alright, so he's got four mana still. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's see if he has a counter spell for this. What if he does? Probably just gonna memory deluge for seven. It's gonna give me a big turn though if he does that. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards that I cannot use for whatever reason. Is he gonna get lost? Dovin's Veto. I don't really need this, so you can veto it. Alright, let's. Hold on a second, does he have seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't have seven. Take out some memory deluge. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we got rid of that. That was the scariest card. Anchorage is not that scary. I got a fatal push. Talking Numa. A little late. I already tossed all of my planeswalker to their death. Watery grave. And then a thought seize. And then a thought seize. What do you have? Dovin's Veto on a Thossies? He really wanted to keep his cards, right? I could put the Dovin's Veto away. Let's fight for it. I'm bored. Haha! <laughs> the fairy? Gone. Alright, so he has a no more lice, which. That I don't care about as much. I have entered tapped. I could. The deadly cover up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't. I cannot deadly cover up right now. So. 
It's just let him draw his Dolvin's veto in like five turns. I have Narsets in the deck. Eventually I'll get it, but then I don't have any graveyards to use because I've been clinging to dust so much. Also, I'm at five. <laughs> I paid a lot of life. That's for sure. But whenever this creature dies, I get a gain of life, right? Whenever a creature opponent control dies, I gain one life. There it is. You got it. Fatal push. Thanks for the life. Really? Nothing? Uh, I, can I use Talk Enuma for something? I can burn it just to get something. What does he have? He has a stick for something. I don't have anything in a graveyard. That's fun. Alright, before he gets his counter spell back, let's get rid of his some of his cards, shall we? So let's see, what do I want to take out? A deduce, another deduce, a thosis, and a push. I'm blowing up the board. I can take out his Teferi or his Shark Typhoon. They're both kind of scary, but I think I can fight a Teferi. I'm not sure I can fight a Shark. Um, I did exile Teferi already. So, do I just take out a Shark Typhoon? I don't think I can fight a Shark Typhoon, right? I can probably fight a Teferi for a few turns. Alright, let's see if I'm right or wrong. There's two Shark Typhoons. There's a bunch of Wandering Emperors, there's still Memory Deluge, and there's no more Teferis. So, oh, there's one more Teferi. There's a Farewell and Sunfall, which I'm okay with. That's, Farewell is kind of annoying. Place is land. Double no more lies, though. That's funny. We go to my turn? We just go to my turn. Ooh, a Narset. Alright, one, two, three. I gotta get rid of his no more lies. Because then he can just counter it. That means that this costs six plus. Oh, you can't really fight this Narset by itself. Do we just attack him first? Let's force him to use his march. Do I care about these? I don't care about these tokens. He's not gonna march it? There you go. Alright, now I can play the Midnight Clock. Maybe he'll no more lies this. Nope, he lets it out. Doesn't have that many counter spells, but he does have Wandering Emperor I gotta be careful about. There it is. Main phase too. Vigilance. Alright, let's sacrifice a planeswalker now. He can normalize this. Does he not know he has no more lights? 
Okay. Keep watch for intruders. How much mana do I have? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three. Not enough. But I can push through with this. Right, let's take out one Delhi cover up and one Doxies. Would you like to normalize this? No. Alright, well there's four wandering emperors in your deck. So let's let's get rid of those. Library? Actually three wandering emperors in your deck. This deck is almost gone. No more stuff. Okay, I could one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I cannot play Narset. Not right now. Do we just pass turn here? How many Jace do I still have? I think I exile three Jace. I still have one more Jace, right? I can turn this life, but there's no reason to. That damage is not gonna matter. I think he wants to mill me out. Double no more lice. Kind of tricky to go around. Huh. Did not expect this. Alright, here's Jace. I can definitely play Narset and push through with the No More Lies. He does not counter any of my cards. So he just wants to let it happen. Alright, I have a Shodra's Edict. I can kill his Teferi if that's what he wants to do. Memory Deluge? Sure. He's got 5 mana left. There's no more shark in his deck. He has a fairy, and that's about it. Does he want to do anything here? If he doesn't want to do anything, do I want to do anything here? These are not good cards, so let me draw a card. Right, that's also not a good card. Let me Valky. I got a no more lies. It's actually kind of funny. Alright, let's let me play the reef. Then we will commit this to memory. Would you like to see how this works? Would you like to see how this works? Uh, resolves. And pay. Does he have a spell pierce? Does he have a Dolvin's Veto? Right, he could have that. No, we just quit. Alright, that was a 23 minute game. We dragged it out and then we finally commit into memory. So yeah, that's our Demir deck. Some quick games and some... Alright, welcome back everyone. Now that you've seen those games, especially that last game, how did you feel about this deck? Because I've, I I feel like uh, Demir uh, is a good deck in Explorer, but this shell is a little bit harder to kind of trick out. It's not going to help that we basically went second every game that I played today. And there are a lot of games that uh, if I had gone first, I probably would have won. And I, you know, it's really frustrating because with Thoughtseize, if you don't go first, right, it's not a good deck. So uh, 
I think this deck itself, it, it's almost there, but not quite. Definitely try it out yourself and see whether or not you can do better than I did. Because I think for my win rate, it might be something along the lines of 50%. I think I won half and lost half the games. And a lot of times it's just me going second. And my opponents also control. Um, Arena likes to match this deck up against other control decks. And if our opponents also control and we went second, they'll dossies us and then they'll counter every one of our spells. And then I can't do anything after that. That's how I feel almost every game we played out. And But that last game, right? We really dragged it out and we have to really be careful with how we control our opponent and then eventually we we're able to uh exile all the cards they have and then win at the back side of that so that's how i feel about this deck it's a fun deck uh, it's very hard to play definitely one of the harder decks that i played in explorer but it does have you know it does have that crazy combo potential with jace and uh the tibble so it might be fun to play around with that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.